Ever Ospo Awards at OspoCon NA 2022. Yay! Crowd of thousands. Woo! Uh, brought to you by the To Do Group Steering Group, where today we'll be awarding the Best OSPO Ambassador and the OSPO of the Year Awards. Um, the steering committee includes uh, myself, Stephen Jacobs, uh, Ashley Wolf from GitHub, Stephen Augustus from Cisco, Don Foster from VMware, Sheila Saibi from Comcast, VM Vicky Brasur from YPro, and Thomas Steenbergen from EPAM. And the to-do group steering committee uh, tries to help support OSPOs any way we can. Um, it's always a challenge when you're supporting both new groups and groups that have been in existence for a long time. It's kind of a balancing act, so we, we try to make sure we're doing that. So we coordinate with the to-do group's pro program manager, Anna. Take a bow. We could do nothing without Anna. We handle the business and marketing manners. We try to set up working groups and initiatives that are going to support OSPOs around the world, setting up policies, rules, and procedures for the to-do group as a whole. And if you don't know who the to-do group is, the to-do group is a formal entity under the Linux Foundation that is there to support open source program offices in general. The steering committee sets up our own internal procedures around elections, nominating people to be on the steering committee and the process of how that goes. Um, the strategic goals, at least for this year, are to produce good group guides and use cases to help extend the stretch of OSPOs everywhere. There's been a recent push, for example, outside of the to-do group in getting OSPOs in academia. And so I'm there to help with that. There are lots of other ones that are starting to spin up, so we want to support them as well as traditional software companies, as well as you've seen presentations this week about the automotive industry and Linux and open source software and OSPOs within those corporations. We encourage more active participation in the series we produce called Ospology, which is a webcast once a month where you can learn more about how OSPOs work from the experienced folks who run them. We try to build connections with other communities, both inside of the OSPO tent and outside of the larger open source community event. We run two annual satisfaction surveys a year with what we're doing to get community feedback. So please, if you see those show up in your email, fill them out because we want to know what we can do better. We're uh, refreshing the website. We try to spread out more of our programming around the world, not just being US centric. And internally, we're looking at how we do our tooling and how we get our processes supported by our technological infrastructure. And these are open with milestones that you can find and track. So the link down there, GitHub com to do group governance, if you're interested in being part of our process or keeping us on target and on task, that's a guide for you to help us do better. And this year, we decided to create awards for the first time. And so we're going to announce the winners of those awards. So without further ado, surprising no one, Nit Yorov, probably the queen of OSPO uh, evangelism promotion, uh, who is currently the chief open source officer at AWS, who does an awesome job. And she will win this lovely set of candlesticks. I mean, this lovely <laughs> award. What, what can you do with it? Well, I was wearing it on my head for a picture that Anna took. If that's what you'd like to do, you're more than welcome to. But I, I don't know. So. We, we have a box for you to take it in so you, don't, so you don't have to wear it on your head walking into the airplane. So congratulations, Pose. The ha oh, yes, the happy recipient. <laughs> thank you. This is lovely. Well, it's well-deserved. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you. Niche has been very supportive of the work that I was doing at RIT even before we were in OSPO, coming out to the university to talk to our students and our faculty. So well-deserved. Uh, our good friends at Goldman Sachs were already heading out on a plane, so they could not join us today at this event, but they have been informed of their award, and they are quite pleased. So a round of applause for Goldman Sachs. 
what was that? They, they, they received the prize. Yes, we did give them the prize. We didn't tell them that they, it's not like a raffle on the exhibit floor that you have to be there to win. We'll, we'll make sure that they got to take theirs with them. And pretty much that's all we wanted to do today is take a, a quick minute to kind of honor the offices and the people who are doing great work. And you'll see more from them and more from us as the year progresses. Anna, do you, were to, you want to add anything else from the to-do group? Anyone on the steering committee, Don and I, who are here can testify that Anna works 24-7, 365, so anytime anybody needs anything, they can reach out to her. Thank you for your time and attention, and go have a pleasant evening. Thank you. My very great pleasure to be of service.